In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And peace be unto all of you everywhere in the world. Uh, first of all, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. We thank Him for everything. We thank Him for giving us uh, the insight and the way we look at things that make us very comfortable, alhamdulillah, with this great religion, the religion of peace and comfort. Uh, yeah, here we have a beautiful picture. It's a very significant picture. It's so funny that it is rare to see in different places, yeah. Uh, but it is a picture. I think it's a true picture. The cameraman or the camera woman did a good job to uh, take this picture. Uh, however, the, what we care for is the message of this picture. What we see now is an animal eating, and few birds are sharing, are trying to eat with this animal. Wow. So an animal and birds are sharing some food. Uh, there, there are many messages that we can get. But before we this message, I remember... The, the hadith of the Prophet is so wonderful that says that the food of an individual person is enough for two. And the food for two is enough for four. And so on and so forth. So what you think that the food that, that's for you, it is enough for two people. It is sufficient for two people. And the food for two can be sufficient for four people. And if we have this concept in our brain, mashallah, I think... Nobody is going to go to starve, to suffer from starvation. We, this we have a simple example in front of us, as you can see here in the picture, that first of all, we can live peacefully together. The Africans and the Asians, the Asians and the Europeans, the Ru Europeans and the Americans, all people can live together peacefully if they have common things between them. If they have the same values and the same beliefs, if they take their values from the same source and they have the same belief, I think they can live peacefully and they can make this world a better life. Uh, this is an example, a lesson for all of us that if animal and birds can live together, why shouldn't human live together? We come to this critical question. Yes, we are humans and we are different. And unfortunately, yes, humans may have some greediness, some hatred for others, some type of selfishness that would encourage them and would motivate them to live only for themselves. They don't think of live and let others live. Or we can live together and we can share what we have. And what we learn also from here, that there is enough food for all of us. If we share it in a good way, in a just way, in a fair way, we can share what we have. This planet has enough sources for all of us. We know that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us, created the animals, created every creature in this, He guaranteed that there is enough sustenance, there is enough food for all of them. However, if people don't know this fact, and if people cannot resist their selfishness, this world will be like hell. People will not live peacefully and people don't learn from others. And again here on this occasion, I remember the wonderful hadith saying of our beloved Prophet wasallam, when he said that none of you is considered a complete believer. None of you is considered a believer, a complete believer, unless he 
loves for others, unless he loves for other human beings, unless he loves for brothers and sisters, what he loves for himself. You love to eat from this. But remember that other people see you and they have the right to share with you. If you love for them what you love for yourself, so you would immediately understand the concept of sharing. And the result of sharing is caring. And the result of caring is that you live a peaceful life with other people, not only with other human beings, but with other animals. We know the story of the prostitute who helped another animal, who helped another creature, who helped the dog who was thirsty and wanted to drink, and she went into the river and got some water and helped this animal to drink and saved the life of this animal. And because of this, although she was a prostitute, Allah, because of this wonderful act that she did, she did it only for the sake of Allah to save a life of a creature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made her enter paradise, accepted her in paradise because of such a wonderful act of sharing what she could do, the water that was there, and he could not access it. And by doing, by sharing this water with the animal, with the dog, she saved the life of the dog, and Allah accepted her in paradise. Dear viewers everywhere, I am reminding you, I'm reminding myself, that this is one of our jobs in this life, is to care about others and to share what we have, to share our wisdom, to share our knowledge, to share the most beautiful thing that we have, to share Islam with them, to offer this wonderful religion to them, so that they will be guided and they will be saved from hellfire. It is my job, it is your job, it is the job of everybody who is guided to guide the others. As the teachers do, they learn something and they offer it to whom who don't know it. And that's why it is our job. And I keep reminding you, keep doing the teaching of the Prophet ﷺ. Teach this wonderful message to others. And by doing this, inshallah, this will be your access to paradise. This is your presenter, Dr. Mamdouh Muhammad. I greet you again and again by the best greeting. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.